Pokemon videos. What is up guys? Welcome back to HLP Products or Hafferland Performance. So today guys, I bring to you a video on the fuel system, specifically about the stock OEM fuel system that came with your J series engine. Uh, there's a lot of common misconceptions that even when NA naturally aspirated, for some reason you need to upgrade your fuel system. And I'm here to dispel the rumors, uh, back it up with a little bit of information, and most of all, uh, personal data or R&D and actual real life experience that we have, or I specifically have, for the last two decades with the J-Series engine. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try to make this video short and sweet. What you see in front of you here is the OEM stock fuel rails with stock, um, these are 270cc 7th um, gen Accord. So the J30 Accord fuel injectors, stock fuel rails, stock fuel rail lines, and then this is the stock line that would uh, go to the main fuel line. And then that would feed all the way back, all the way back to your fuel pump housing and it would install right onto that connection right there. So what you see here is the fuel pump housing. This is the OEM fuel pump housing. This is the same thing that's in Bertha, um, same thing that's basically in all J series. They're all pretty much identical, if not identical to this. Um, what you see here is a uh, OEM Accord fuel pump. This is a Walbro 450, and this is a Walbro Hellcat 535. So, Bertha, guys, Bertha has been NAJ30. She's been Nitrous J30. She's been NAJ32. She's been Turbo J32, and she's been Turbo J35. That entire time, guys, I ran the stock fuel pump housing, either stock fuel pump or a Walbro 450 modified to fit in there and if you guys want to see how to modify um the wiring and everything and how to hook up a Walbro you know 450 uh, 535 it's the same concept same wiring same everything go back in our older videos I did a Walbro install um with the stock fuel pump housing so I showed you guys how to do everything how to adapt it into the stock fuel pump housing so getting back to what I was saying guys all of those different setups five different setups ranging from 220 wheel horsepower naj30 when i first started all the way up to 650 wheel horsepower plus um i say that because that was the j32a3 that was turbo uh i was pushing about 12 psi at max the car trapped 136 137 miles an hour in the quarter mile so at 34 3500 pounds you guys can do the math there's tons of calculators online but it easily easily pushes that the wheel horsepower past 650 all right so just with my calculations let's just say 650 that's a low estimate i'm saying guys from the j30 all the way j30 na j30 nitrous j32 na j32 cam na uh j32 turbo j35 turbo um, it's always been the stock fuel pump housing 
either with the stock fuel pump or a Walbro 450. I just went 535, but I had issues with that. If you guys kind of look back and see the most recent updates on Bertha, that's solved. I'm not sure if these two fuel pumps are just bad from the factory because they're, they were both new. So I don't know, but I slapped a, a, another replacement um, OEM fuel pump housing and an OEM pump back in Bertha, and she's running fucking perfectly, guys. I couldn't believe it, but... Hey, you got to take what, what, what's given to you guys. And at the moment, Bertha's daily driving again. No issues. I don't have to worry about being stranded or anything like that. Because um, I did have to get towed one time. <laughs> um, but anyways, so she ran the stock fuel pump housing, stock fuel pump. Um, stock fuel lines all the way up to the stock fuel rail lines. Stock fuel rails. And the only thing I have right now on Bertha are ID 1000s, so upgraded injectors. That's it, guys. Um, we do have our HLP AN adapter kit, so if you go in our online store, you can look up our AN alcohol E85 plug and play uh, fuel line adapter kit. So what our kit does, it basically converts this nipple or this connection to an AN fitting. It's literally a quick connect. Connects, and then you have an AN, and then it's a braided line all the way down the length of the car and then we give you another an connection and it connects right here and then you feed it oh i'm sorry it connects right here and then you feed it in the main line into here and it feeds your rails that's it guys literally and that makes sure that your lines are compatible with an alcohol e85 but most of all it supplies just a little more a little extra um fuel volume to your rails so bertha's on stock rails guys she has never had upgraded rails we have guys that are going well above 800 even to a thousand on stock fuel rails so when people say, you know, oh, upgrade your fuel system, they're full of fucking shit, guys. You do not need upgraded rails unless you're going like 800 to 1,000 wheel horsepower. And unless you're, you're pouring, you know, twenty to $40,000 into your setup to do that, you're not going to make that much power, guys. So just a really quick to review, at the max, what Bertha had was 650 wheel horsepower, J32 A3 turbo. All right, stock fuel pump housing, Walbro 450 in here, HLP E85 AN alcohol um, main fuel line kit, quick connect to here, so you don't have to do any cutting, nothing, just quick connect to here. Our AN line runs all the way up the length of the car to the fuel rails right here, quick connects in there, and then you screw on the AN line, the main fuel line, and it was stock lines here, stock fuel rails with ID 1000 injectors. That's it. And the only reason I upgraded to ID 1000 injectors was because she needed it, guys. When you run out of duty, so this is how you know when you need to upgrade your injectors or fuel pump, uh, is duty cycle. So unless you have a tuning system, you're really not gonna know unless you start going really lean. And I, I hope if you're doing that and you get to that point, you at least have a damn wide band, if not a full tuning system that you can monitor your AFR, your air fuel ratio. So like I was saying, guys, um, Bertha's had basically all stock components up to 650 wheel horsepower. We have guys pushing stock fuel rails well into and past the 800 wheel horsepower mark. Um, and the only time you need to upgrade your injectors or fuel pump is when you go lean or the injector duty gets above 90%. Um, most people say a general rule of thumb is 90%. I've taken them as far as 95, which basically means the injectors are staying open 95% of the time. Um, most manufacturers say that 90% is the, the rule of thumb. Like I said, I've taken it past 95, but uh, it, it's really up to your, 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 uh, your considerations and your setup, but really 90% duty cycle is where you would wanna start upgrading your injectors. Then moving over to the fuel pump, uh, it's gonna be the same thing, guys. There's tons of online calculators where you can calculate the, the LPH, so the liters per hour for your fuel pump, 
and then also for your injectors and that will tell you the general amount of horsepower that that size fuel pump and those size uh, injectors will handle outside of that guys like i said i've taken literally guys the uh 0307 accord j30 a5 completely stock fuel system from the fuel pump housing stock fuel pump stock lines stock fuel rails stock injectors which are 270 cc um injectors for the j30 i ran j30 na up to 280 wheel horsepower then i sprayed 100 shot of nitrous at it uh, made 350 still had plenty of injector duty then um i went e35 for a brief moment and i ran e35 um on the j32 na very briefly and it still had power so roughly guys on a 270 cc uh injector stock stock system it's going to be good for about 350 wheel horsepower and then if you go um if you have the 310 that came with the tl type s or the 3.5 liter engines it's going to be more and then lastly i actually i actually made a uh, mistake there i had rdx 410 injectors and i went turbo with the j32 up to 400 wheel horsepower on e, e, e35 guys so literally everything stock 410 injectors from the rdx 400 wheel horsepower while having a e mix an e35 mix so 35 percent ethanol and the rest was just regular gas so even with the the ethanol mix guys i was still able to push like four i think three and a half to four pounds of boost on the j32 a3 with the ethanol 410 injectors that's it so like i said more moral of the story guys unless you need the extra fuel unless the duty cycle calls for um more injector and more fuel pump which rule of thumb is 90 percent duty you should probably look into upgrading um and unless you go 350 to 400 wheel horsepower if you're not going past that guys you don't need to do anything to your fucking fuel system nothing not a damn thing and just to beat the the horse one more time guys like i said j32 turbo e35 mix everything was stock except the oem rdx 410 injectors and i pushed to about three and a half four pounds of boost um, with the j32 a3 which was roughly 400 wheel horsepower everything else was the same and i was just about maxing out the duty at that point so if you get rdx 410 injectors and you want to run an e35 mix you know that it will be good for roughly 350 to 400 wheel horsepower even on a 35 e35 ethanol mix all right i almost forgot man shout out to track tough as you guys know we have offered their billet uh vtex bull valve oil relocation block so basically guys um you have your you got your fuel or fuel filter you got your oil filter that goes onto the spool, spool valve right um you would screw it on oem all right this goes in place of it so this you'll have lines coming out you can look at our online store listing but lines will come out and then you'll have a remote um oil filter mount okay so we've offered this for quite a bit but something that we haven't offered is the actual relocation the filter mount which we are now going to offer so shout out to track tough and rob over there but as you can see guys this would be the mount so the oil filter would go here you run your lines to it wherever you want in the engine bay in the wheel well and we got you covered we're going to offer the full kit we're going to offer the an-10 uh an lines dash eight if you want honestly guys i run dash 10 oil cooler lines on bertha with this exact kit and it's a little too much it drops your oil pressure which isn't the best of the best um, but luckily we run or i run a uh, thicker grade oil at the moment now running ams oil um, i actually run the signature series uh, dominator is the race but i run the signature 40 weight um, i have run the rotella t4 in the past great oil but obviously working with ams oil now sticking with ams oil and it's been doing great for us but like i said guys we're going to offer the full kit now so it's going to allow you to 
relocate your oil filter you can see i believe these are 1 8 mpt so you could put multiple sensors on it for oil pressure oil temp all that good shit turbo turbo feed line all right and why i suggest doing this for uh, forced induction applications really unless you're like a, a pure drag car race car um, or turbo application i don't suggest these it's really not needed man the the oem spool valve and shit will do that so obviously unlike other companies guys i don't i don't try to upsell you i suggest what you guys will need for your setup but like i was saying uh these VTEC oil uh, these billet relocation adapters literally mount to the block and it gets rid of that big bulky Voltex uh, VTEC spool valve and it gives you room to run the lines around uh, the lower control arm and all that shit because if you look back in our old videos the J32A3 the first one that I put in Bertha um, that some a lot of the fucking haters are like, oh, he blew up a fucking engine. If you look back, never blew up that engine, guys. I did end up pulling it because if you look, um, I actually bottomed out when I was going over a speed bump and it ripped one of the oil cool line, cooler lines and it starved the engine of oil. So it fucking started chewing up the bearings. So once again, guys, if, if you listen to the haters and shit that are like, oh, he blows up engines and you actually go back and review our videos, you would know they're full of complete shit. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, like I was saying, that's the reason I run this is because it allows for more room around the, um, around the, the lower control arm where if you ran like the, uh, the standard um, oil filter relocation blocks that you see on like eBay or, you know, Motion, Raceworks, um, I think they actually offer something similar to this, but you know, just the generic style that screws on to the OEM location and then you screw on the, um, the filter. It's not, oh, the sandwich. There you go. Oil filter sandwich. That's what I had on there and it fucking ripped it off, dude. So anyways, guys, this allows for more room, more play, more fun around that area. And more, more specifically, if you're going to run a cooler, you're going to run sensors and all that shit. This allows you to feed the smaller lines through the uh, lower control arm bushing and let lower control through the lower control arms. Um, so you, you, they don't have to hang low or none of that shit. And it just gives you more operating room within that wheel whale area. And speaking of the Tractop VTEC uh, billet relocation block, uh, we have a customer's J35A8. Um, this is actually a J35Z uh, 364 engine um, that is going into a 0708 Acura TL Type S. You can see we actually adapted an Accord radiator into it. But what I wanted to show you guys is the VTEC relocation adapter. So normally, uh, sorry, normally you would have a fucking oil filter right here, right? So if you put an oil sandwich on there, it, it thickens it by about that much. And the oil filter sits down here. Then you really have no room to play with the lower control arm. Um, the TL is actually a little better where the Accord the uh, control arms further up this way a little bit so the TL actually has a little more room but you can see here the block comes straight off or the billet relocation adapter bolts straight to the block comes off the block and then you can run your lines wherever the fuck you want guys and right here uh, this customer has the filter right here up in the wheel well and then the oil filter goes right there so this gives you more more room to just to just to have fun and play around in here and not worry about the lines hanging too low because that's what happened with mine. I had um, I had a VTEC or not a VTEC. Sorry guys, it's been a long day. Um, I had a oil filter sandwich and it was lower and it either ripped that oil filter off, damaged it or it ripped the line because I had the line sitting underneath. That was really the only place I could put them underneath the lower control arm. And then I bottomed out. I, I really think it was a line, if I remember correctly, that ripped and it ripped it right off. So like I said, guys, it, it's a good little kit to have. And now we have the Track Tough Billet actual uh, filter mounting bracket and the 
filter mount so literally we got both of them now where i didn't want to offer like a cheap ebay or chinese shit i wanted to go to rob for that so now we got the full track tough made in the usa billet kit man as always guys i threw a lot of data at you a lot of rambling but i i hope you guys got something from this um moral of the story in short unless you're going above 350 wheel horsepower na which is never gonna fucking happen guys um at least for a street in order to get past 350 wheel horsepower na you need to be running like an oxygenate oxygenated race fuel you need to be like 13 to 14 to 1 compression like you you need a lot of shit to make a j or a j series um go past 350 wheel horsepower while na so there's no street guy that's really gonna do that and then even if you want to run an E35 mix, guys, like I said, just, just monitor your injector duty cycle. Um, and then if you have 410 injectors, personally, I've ran a J32A3 turbo, 410 injectors. That's the only thing that was on there. E35 mix up to 400 wheel horsepower. Um, you're not going to, you guys just don't need to upgrade your fuel system. Stop falling for the upsell from other companies. Um, yeah, we are actually going to get into fuel systems, but for the most part, I mean, a large majority of our customers are NA daily, uh, daily nitrous, daily turbo. And then of course we have, you know, drag sponsorships. We have other turbo, uh, turbo customers that you see on our Instagram and shit like that. We have a, um, fuel injector cleaner system, uh, that I have not put on our store yet. I promised you guys that like a week or two ago, but trying to get to it. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumb up, like, all that good shit. Peace.